my name is Peter Scanlon. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist in Oxford and Gloucestershire in the UK. I've been clinical director of the NHS Diabetic Eye Screening Program since its inception in 2003. In the early days, we weren't sure exactly what effect this would have, but by detecting diabetic retinopathy early in the population of people with diabetes, we've managed to knock diabetic retinopathy off as the leading cause of blindness in the working age group, and patients are not anymore presenting with the same level of advanced disease that they were doing before we introduced the program. In Australia, you have a national diabetes register that's managed by Diabetes Australia, and you have the opportunity through Keepsight of informing the National Diabetes Register of whether a person has attended for an eye test. We know that the people who are the people who do not attend for the eye test are the ones who are most at risk of losing vision from advanced diabetic retinopathy. If they wait until they uh, develop symptoms, uh, the level of retinopathy can be quite advanced and is very much more difficult to treat even with world-class ophthalmology care like you have in Australia. So closing this loop and making sure that one identifies people who can be given appropriate messages to attend for uh, eye examinations will be really important to try and reduce the vision loss due to diabetic retinopathy in Australia. I would hope that you would take this opportunity up.